Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs with Toomey and Brian. Today we're going to talk a very beautifully specced one bedroom apartment in Ellis Court, Birmingham, UK. So this one bedroom apartment is on sale for £188,000 and the square footage is 580. So if that sounds good to you, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. Bye. So welcome to your hallway. As you can see, your standard entrance hallway, you've got white painted walls everywhere, and then we've got our favorite <laughs> highlights on the skirt, uh, well, architrave features. These are your standard architrave features, but they're actually painted in a really lovely high gloss white paint as well. The first thing you're gonna notice when you're in your hallway is obviously gonna be this laminate, uh, well, actually, I don't know if it's laminate flooring, but it's a wood grain effect flooring in gray. You've got your kind of, um, what's it called? Your intercom system as well for security purposes which is great it's convenient by the front door and then you've got on your right you've got your main bathroom as you can see this is beautifully beautifully done these i've been told are all one sheet of tile as well which is really rare to see that normally they're done in um separate um what's the word in separate smaller grids, but this is one sheet. This is an upgrade and it doesn't come with a standard apartment, but it's beautiful that this is available to you. As you can see, they're vein matched. So that that means that they've made an effort to continue the, the pattern. And that is not standard. That takes quite a lot of effort to do. There's a recessed shelf here. So there's an opportunity to store um, what's it called, um, makeup, obviously, toiletries, and it's kind of like a contemporary way of adding storage, but you can obviously fit in like a cabinet on the wall there. There's a mirror here with an LED screen and then light above for putting makeup on or getting ready in the morning. A nice sink and toilet by Sotini. It's not a hidden cistern sink. It's a, uh, well, your typical toilet with the visible cistern on, and then a bathtub as well. So it's a three piece suite. There's some down lighters as well in there. Fantastic. And just to show you quick what the doors look like, you've got these vertical lines and the paneling on the door, which is great and chrome handles and fixtures. So again, we're at the front door, as you can see. So now we're going to go into this room, which is currently staged as a kind of study and office. It's a nice size for a study, especially for us work from home people. Um, you've got a really nicely sized window there with a traditional, actually, I believe these are, they appear to be timber framed windows, timber traditional sash windows. That's very, very special. And if you absolutely wanted to, you could probably put in a single bed in there. That could be a sofa bed for a spare bedroom. So coming back into the store, I'm gonna go straight into this bedroom here. This could be one of your primary bedroom, your, your primary bedroom option. You've got your windows again, and Brian, you can see even closer the details there. So the difference between these and casement windows so that these move up and down and you would clip them you'd unscrew these and it's just fantastic and i believe it's because of the heritage of this site and the history of what this site used to be before they made it into apartments so coming into this bedroom you've got a double bed there i believe it's a double it could just be a king size but it is quite snug but it's pretty much everything you need in terms of a bedroom in an apartment you've got well behind you you've got a wardrobe area and if you really wanted to you can make this a fitted wardrobe area you've got a diagonal wall here which is splayed which is quite good as an entrance into your bedroom and then you've got an ensuite here which is a three-piece suite again you've got that floor to ceiling paneling so there's no tiles and no grout lines which is fantastic it means that you know when it comes to cleaning it's a lot more um, aesthetically pleasing you don't have more opportunities for dirty grout just wash it in one go and then you've got that same paneling here which kind of continues the shower area the shower itself has is a mirror mirror minimal shower as well with a handheld device and a rain head feature <laughs> interestingly the rain head feature can you guys see is directly beneath the spotlight so maybe in your apartment you can ask them to move that spotlight out of the way so it's brighter in there got a little bit of a shelf 
and your standard toilet there by Sotini. You've got your sink as well. And the taps in here are actually also by Sotini, um, quite a reputable brand. You've got another area there for storage, a shaver socket, and you could probably put in a, a medicine cabinet in there. You've got your heated towel rail here as well, which appears to be electric because you can switch it. Oh no, it's not, sorry. Scratch that, it's actually central heating, which is even better, more energy efficient. And then I think that's it for this room. I do notice there might be what looks to me to be a thermostat. So this room is independently controlled in terms of temperature. And then coming back again, we're in the corridor. And as you can see, there's a door here in that paneled effect as well. And this is throughout the whole property, all the doors of these white paneled effects. It's your store cupboard and it has your... Um, I forgot what is it consumer internet sorry consumer unit as you can see that's great in all the apartments kind of require this and this is very easy to access and secure a little cute little um mirror there you could probably put in like a little console there for putting keys and then another door here which i'm thinking is gonna be a toilet what do you think a toilet nope <laughs> It's a store, so it's additional store space there. You can see the remnants of your heating system for the apartment, and that's good. So you've actually got dedicated storage space in addition to the little nooks I showed earlier. So guys, welcome to your open plan kitchen, dining and living space. Apology for the squeaks and the shoes if you pick that up. So you've got a little moment here where you've got your sofa. You probably stage this with an L-shaped sofa here if you wanted. Put the TV on that wall. Um, obviously they've not put a TV, but I can imagine you probably have the TV on that wall so you can enjoy it from the kitchen space and dining space. Or alternatively, you can have it in the corner there. They've put all the sockets in that corner, so it does suggest that is where your TV is going to go. So, I mean, we are talking about the architecture in this space, but let's talk about the interior design as well. Some of these are upgrades, so just bear that in mind. We've got this really beautiful lighting fixture as well, uh, pendant lighting, and then you've got the flooring, which continues all the way throughout the whole apartment. It not only makes the space feel kind of coordinate it's all kind of matching together but it also makes the space feel bigger when you have one type of flooring continuing throughout the whole space so you've got another aspect there so the great thing about this apartment you have a view at the back as well you can see the gardens the communal gardens which are private and then you've got this area here where you can have a dining table they've been very modest and put two uh, it's a two-seater but i think you could probably put a bigger table there a rectangular one this way in front of the radiator four seater um, and then this is your kitchen space and I have to say for a kitchen this is very generous for this size of property um, a lot of times developers are trying to kind of reduce the amount of space they can get away with and I feel like that's not the case in this kitchen so I'll tell you why I think that is this worktop is most likely an upgrade but it looks to me to be a either a silestone that's a brand name silestone or Korean or, well, just generally, it's a, it's a kind of a composite material, man-made material of stone, maybe resin bonded together. It looks fantastic and it will be very low maintenance. Um, this is the part where someone tells me, no, that's real stone. Well, whatever it is, it's high quality material. We confirm that in the description. We've got a boiler cupboard here cleverly hidden away. We've got these kind of slightly off-white cabinets as well in a very modern but slightly traditional panelled look with these chrome handles. We've got ample storage either side, a sink here. I mean, ideally it's nice to have the sink in front of a window whilst you're washing up, but regardless, you've got a large sink with one and a half bowl. Um, you've got um, storage here, storage, more storage, and then AEG appliances, it looks. So you've got an induction hob, not gas, so just bear that in mind. And then you've got AEG um, extract fan, which is all in this uh, stainless steel finish. A splashback in that kind of um, stone um, solid surface material. I think this might be stone or style stone. And then you've got your brush stainless steel um, sockets as well and then here's your fridge freezer your hob is there and there's probably space for a dishwasher yep and a washing machine and it's integrated as well guys yep
So they're all AEG appliances, which is a reputable company. You've got opportunities for these recessed lighting fixtures underneath the cabinets. And yes, guys, so this is obviously a one bedroom apartment. I hope you enjoyed that tour. If you did, like the video and comment and subscribe and see you in our next video. Bye.